Hey guys, welcome to the second episode in my tips and tricks series for building. And today we are going to be uh, reviewing trees. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to build a pretty simple tree and then we're going to expand on that by um, using some different block combinations and little techniques I've found over my time as a builder to um, make the tree more fun to look at and uh, maybe even more immersible where you where you have this uh, little chair you can sit in. So uh, the reason we're doing this episode is because um, last episode I said we'd work on trees. Uh, I'd show you guys how to make a tree, but I didn't. So uh, I felt like I needed to uh, give back and to actually make true my promise. So this is what today's episode is. I'm also going to show you guys how to make uh, small little trees like this, um, which are pretty simple and fast to do. So I'll probably do that at the end of the episode but yeah let's get started so um, trees in Minecraft they are considered organics obviously because a tree is an organic so they are not a simple square shape or they are not always a set shape that you um, make in Minecraft so in order to make a tree you gotta be kinda random and you gotta use your imagination and you also gotta try to simulate um, what also happens in real life um, the biggest thing with trees is you gotta make it so it doesn't look like it actually belongs to Minecraft but it more belongs to uh, real life and um, what you would actually see so what I'm doing right now is I'm making the trunk for my tree um, I'm gonna try to make a smaller tree smaller than this but right now I'm making the trunk of my tree it's kind of thick um, the reason this is is so I can make um, branches branching outwards out from the trunk which are only one uh, wide th and uh, one one block thick um, so it doesn't look too uneven um, also regarding the the bottom you want a thicker bottom on your tree because you want your tree to be able to support itself and not fall over see also another tip I found over my time um, as a builder is you gotta try to try to make it so it would actually exist in real life you gotta make it so it's uh... It look like it would it would be long in the real world there we go wow that took me a while to figure out how to say um, <laughs> but uh... to make a tree we're just gonna uh, make a pretty thick trunk you might wanna like go around and um, go around and add some different uh, shapes and varieties to it so it isn't just uh, like you saw before just three rectangles sitting on top of each other and then we're also next we're gonna um, start adding some branches uh, one one thick uh, like the first one I made um, and they can also make them at different height variants because a tree is not always going to have branches at the same at the same uh, level so I'm going to add some branches and then I will be back um, to show you guys how to add some leaves. So yeah. Okay. So we're back. And one thing about trees is nothing is never certain. When you're adding leaves to this, you can definitely take away a branch if it doesn't look good. You always, um, you always just gotta kind of wing it in a way <laughs> whenever it comes to trees because um, because they're never certain. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do are leaves. The leaves are, in my opinion, uh, the hardest thing when it comes to trees. Getting the shape is decently easy, but um, actually adding the leaves onto it so it looks like a real tree is probably the hardest part. See, in uh, Minecraft, most people, most people add um, just solid block of leaves onto the trees but in real life leaves are not just a solid block so what I'm going to show you guys is that you wanna have some space between the leaves like you see here how there's actually some air like I just went around and punched punched some leaves out um, after making some pretty solid blocks and that kinda makes this messy natural feel that most people lack whenever they make trees so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this branch as an example. Come back to you guys, and then we're gonna punch some leaves out. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to make a a uh, solid thing surrounding 
the branch, trying to make it, um, trying to make it so I include most of the branch into the into the build. Okay, so now that we got this, it's kind of a solid branch. You can just keep adding on to it later if it doesn't look like you what you want it to be. Um, next we're going to uh, punch some some holes into this make it a little messier and then now we got that so obviously that doesn't look good right now but once I um, cut and then add the rest of the leaves like I did here it will turn into something so I'm gonna cut now and then I'm going to show you guys um, the final product with me doing this same technique adding some uh, leaves punching some holes into it and then uh, yeah I'll see you guys then okay guys we're back um, I added some leaves using the same technique as I did um, that I showed you guys and this is the outcome of our tree this is the outcome of what we got uh, for our tree so um, so now we gotta add some detail to it so now we got the simple tree that I showed you guys before and now we got to add um, some detail to it so it isn't so plain. So first, the priority detail you got to add are some is some shape. So you got to take your spruce slabs, spruce stairs, or whatever slab and stair you're using for whatever uh, oak or whatever wood you're using, and you got to just place it, place it along the bottom of the trunk uh, in a kind of way like this just kind of randomly not on every single block but just kind of randomly and then you also um, going up the tree I like to use slabs at the bottom and then in the tree itself you use brant or you use stairs for the branches because the stairs give it that um, curvy feel that branches oftentimes have inside trees um, but I also do sometimes use slabs whenever it uh, it comes to that occasion kind of like that so it's like a a branch drooping down in a way um, so yeah you just gotta go around you gotta add add some slabs you gotta add some stairs to your your tree you gotta make it make it have some um, shape to it and then once you do that this is this is ultimately what you have you can even go a bit farther and you can add some fences to it that um, adds some very nice detail to your tree uh, Ultimately, I would recommend it. I'm just sometimes too lazy to do it. And then another tr tip that I oftentimes use uh, is I take the leaves and then I try to have them droop down a bit by placing uh, either one to two, one to two, uh, I don't know what you would call these, I, I guess kind of vine type things um, coming down from the, the bushes on the top of the tree. So after doing this, you can you can obviously choose to do this if you want or not. I would recommend it. Uh, you get a pretty cool outcome. It kind of looks like it's a, it belongs in a swamp, um, but it it looks good. It looks good in my opinion, which is something that uh, well, my opinion's not valued yet, or it's not valued. So <laughs> if it looks good to you, I would add it. But if if not, of course into your preference you don't have to add it um, another build tip that I absolutely love and that I will always do is you take a flower pot you take a flower of any choice and you take a fence and then you give yourself um, slash give oh I can't okay never mind um, you give yourself can I have a barrier you give yourself a barrier block and you um, take so you uh, find these little vines that you made previously <laughs> gives me gives me an apple. <laughs> oh, I got an apple instead of a barrier that's okay but uh, you can take the the vine previously that you made you can go down like this and then you can make sort of a hanging flower in a way on your tree to give it that little more color so if you, of course, you could um, do it with different flowers, like you could use a poppy um, and a corn flower to have that uh, red and blue contrast, which is super amazing most times in builds. 
and then you could just have that little extra color of like what, what I said before and it makes your build have that little extra detail that people when they notice they're pretty impressed um, next I want to talk about roots most people forget roots and when they do add roots they're oftentimes way too thick and sometimes I like to pronounce my roots on my trees but um, oftentimes I just do smaller roots because um, trees do not have massive roots well they do but it's underground and you cannot see them so whenever you do roots I oftentimes take um, spruce slab and then I just lead it out um, kind of making a, a stairway or a, a slant of some sort away from the trunk and you can continue to do this like you can even um, make it a little bigger if you want like this um, but uh, big roots are, are not something you want in Minecraft. You could even go a little further and have it come out of the ground um, for a little bit and then go back under like this. It's just ultimately what you want. I'm just trying to give you guys some options that you can use in your building. My next tip um, that I have is um, it's this. It's a little, little bench uh, what do you call it? It's not floating. It's a little hanging bench that you can add to your trees. Um, it, it gives it that uh, interaction appeal where people can actually use it instead of just um, instead of it just being there static in its spot and then people just walk by it. Instead they can actually use it uh, which is pretty big in builds. If people can use your builds then it will get a lot more attention rather than just looking at it. So if you can um, if you can somehow imp implement this, which is it's made of um, chains hanging down from the top, you have a spruce fence um, either side connecting the um, trap doors, which are placed in a fashion like this. Oh, person. Okay. Which are placed in a fashion like this on top of whatever slab, or you could even do more trap doors of your choice. And um, you, you could even go a bit farther. And instead of uh, fences, you could replace it with iron bars, which I saw that in another YouTube video, uh, which you should definitely check out. I do not remember the YouTuber, sadly. Um, and then lastly, what I wanted to show you guys, which is uh, kind of uh, one, the last thing I want to show you guys with these big trees, and then I'll go to the small trees and how to make them real quick, is um, leaf variations. Some way to um, mix up uh, to make your your tree have a bit more more pop and variety is to not have one type of leaf but instead to have multiple types of leaf so I'm gonna get my wand out right here I'm going to select this whole tree and then we're going going to slash up one we're going to um, replace uh, these oak leaves with slash last replace oak leaves and we're going to replace them with more oak leaves we're going to do spruce leaves and then we're going to do birch leaves birch leaves hopefully that will do that I think it's kind of lagging well I guess I'll just do it by hand apparently world edit is not working <laughs> there's an apple it's a floating apple but um, if you just want to add some color to your uh, trees like I said before and some variety you just gotta um, go around you gotta add some yeah some just different types of leaves and I'll cut whenever um, whenever I get done adding these leaves and I'll show you guys the final pro uh, product, and then we'll go over to the small tree. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, um, we are back, and here's the product. So, of course there's not much a big difference, but it does change it, and it adds that extra little pop. You can obviously see the spruce leaves more than you can see the birch, but still, um, it just adds that little extra more that people would be impressed with if you uh, did that for your build. Uh, moving on, 
to the small trees. Small trees have been the bane of my existence. I've never been able to really figure out how to do them. But it's just really, it's, I think it's because they're just so simple. <laughs> Um, most people I see whenever they make these they just have uh, fences but I like to use granite walls as kind of a larger root area because most trees like I said have bigger roots because they need to support um, they need to support uh, whatever they're actually growing and then I like to oftentimes have um, two, two different branches coming out of the tree like so you can have them. Um, um, you can have them random. You could, you could go out one and then go to the side like this if you wanted. Uh, it's just your preference, honestly. And then, the biggest problem I see when people make these trees is they cover the whole thing like I'm doing now. You do not want to cover the whole tree. Uh, doing that will make it way too thick of a tree, and it will, it will just, it, it won't make it look nice. In order to make these look nice. Oh my gosh, place the block. In order to make these look nice, um, you gotta have some holes. You gotta, like I said before, trees aren't just a solid mass of leaves, but instead they are, instead, oh, that looks bad. Instead they are uh, just a couple of leaves on branches. Uh, trunks don't have leaves on them. The branches have leaves on them. And you gotta transition that from uh, the real world and put it into Minecraft. So yeah, um, that's what I have on trees. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of cutting to do with this episode because I've made quite a few mistakes. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Somebody once told me the world was macaroni, so I took a bite out of a tree. It tasted kind of funny, so I spit it out a bunny, and the bunny started pooping on me.